G'day, Lockie here again. In my last video, I took you through Docker Swarm Mode. Now, another really exciting announcement during DockerCon 2016 was DABs, Distributed Application Bundles. Now, I want to take five minutes just to dabble with DABs. So, when we take a look at clusters and Docker Swarm Mode, typically you know, given my last application deployment, you wouldn't be deploying single tiered apps. So the purpose of DABs is really to uh, bundle up multi-tiered apps so that your workflow as a developer is, you write your application code, you use Docker Compose to spin up a multi-tiered app locally, and then you can package that up and ship, ship that off into some environment that can run it in a clustered production ready fashion. So. I want to show you the power of doing that and how easy that is using the Docker tools that are out there. So let's take a look at what we have. I have a repo right here and this is actually the example voting app that was featured during the keynote demos, the cats versus dogs voting app. I've taken that, the great work by the Docker guys, um, not claiming any credit for that. So thank you Docker. Uh, what I've actually done is uh, fork that app just to make a few changes to the Docker Compose file. So let's have a look at Docker Compose. All I've done is prepackaged the images and dump them up on Docker Hub for the purposes of the demo. So we can see that this is a standard version to Docker Compose YAML file. We have a multi-tiered app. We have several services here, Vote, Redis, Worker, DB, and Results. So I think this is a great example. Uh, to illustrate the power of this tool. So with this file, we can simply run uh, with Docker Compose 1.8 and above a bundle, and that will create our DAB file. So we have a DAB file. Let's have a look at that DAB file. Now, it's just another YAML, sorry, not YAML, it's just a JSON file uh, with some metadata about how we're deploying this app. Fantastic. It's lightweight and it's there ready to go. So with this artifact, I can actually pick it up and forklift it straight into a cluster running Docker Swarm mode. So I'm gonna to switch to my other tab here. And here I have using Docker Machine, a three node cluster using Docker Swarm mode, the same one that I demoed in the last video. So if I take a look at the status of this cluster, I have a three node cluster, one leader, we're in a good state. So now all I'm going to do is take this DAB file and push it out. So docker deploy example voting app. It's going to detect that, loading the bundle, deploy the app. Docker service ls. You can see that we have all the services up and running. Great result. Let's go and query one of these services. Uh, docker service inspect okay so for the vote service we can see that it's exposed on port 30003 so we should be able to hit a browser on any of the docker machine ip interfaces because we have full mesh routing so it will figure out how to route the packet into that container Fantastic. So I have the cats versus dogs app. Let's cast the vote. I am more of a dogs man myself. So vote cast. Let's go back to our terminal and quickly take a look at the result. So the result is actually listening on port 30,001. So we've cast our vote here. If I go and take this and let's just throw this in a new tab here. So we have one vote cast, 100% to dogs, so fantastic. Let's just go and cast one more vote for the purposes of the demo here. I'll open a new incognito tab here, and we'll go ahead and cast one more for the record. So we should actually see if I flip back. We have two votes cast, if you take a look in the bottom right hand corner, so 100% to dogs. So what I've done, just to recap, is I've developed my application locally. I've used Docker Composed bundle to actually create that example voting app 
DAB file, distributed application bundle, and I've then pushed that out, that same file out to a Docker swarm cluster running Docker swarm mode. And you can see that it's fairly lightweight. The only tools that I had to use was Docker Compose 1.8, and then the rest was done with Docker. I told it to Docker deploy, and then I was able to in interrogate how the services were running and access you know, a multi-tiered application running in a clustered environment. Now, this is absolutely a fantastic result. It was great. You know, it took me less than five minutes to actually put this demo together to show you. So I encourage you guys to get your hands dirty. I think this is really encouraging and I'd like to see the future of uh, what dabs can bring. I think it's a very powerful tool. So great job, Docker. And it's been fun working with, you know, this tool for the last five minutes. Thanks for joining. Cheers.